uh, hello everyone, viewers. Uh, this is Smritika and welcome to Asaka Education YouTube channel. Today, uh, we are going to be a very good host. You know them, uh, you know him. And uh, he is a lecturer, as a English lecturer in, as profession. Uh, his name is Manish Ji, uh, the uh, founder and the creator of uh, Pace Institute. So welcome in Manish Ji uh, for in this uh, channel and uh, uh, thank you so much for giving your time. Uh, let's start from uh, his introduction, what he says about himself and how did he develop such a wonderful uh, organization in the state like Bihar and Patna where we generally speak in Hindi and uh, how um, what uh, in Bhojpuri as well. And, uh, how did he develop and how did he get the ideas? So, Manishji, it's about you. So, please. Hi, this is, uh, this is Pratap Manish. Uh, I'm a English language and personality development uh, coach. And I have been running Pace Institute uh, Private Limited from past uh, 15 years. And the experience total, if we count the uh, English language and personality development, it has been more than 15 years that we have been training English language. And I got motivated uh, to train English language just by because when we were teaching personality development in management colleges, I found that the major issue with the students in is language. Many students don't understand the terms, words, English language. So it was better to start this language training then to start with the personality development training. So with time, I, uh, the personality development training center turned to be completely English language training institute. Actually, there is a myth that uh, English language uh, is a big havoc and people cannot speak English. Is it, it is tough. I just want to say to all my viewers, my all followers, English is a very easy language. It is convenient, it is flexible. It is adopted all around the globe. It has become a global language. So people of Bihar and people of India, we all, our students and all people should not worry, not bother about English. English is easy, convenient, comfortable, friendly language. Everybody can speak. It has more. Uh, it has a more convenience because of the less consonant, less vowels, and structures in grammar. People normally think that they forget grammar, but let me tell you, Hindi grammar is much tougher much, than much. English. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Right. And students or teachers, they are very much bothered about connecting. English. They are not bothered about correction in their own language, Hindi. Hindi is our uh, mother language in India. And normally we are not concerned about the correctness of Hindi. When people speak Hindi, they accept the faults. Yes, but absolutely. when it comes to speaking English, they start seeking corrections or exact it should be spoken. So this is injustice with the language difference between Hindi and what people do. Yes, See, yes, yes. mistakes can be mistakes can be the part of yes, language. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I will I, definitely I, uh, I'll definitely start and keep guiding, but I would like to start with your questions only and pertaining to them and then I'll keep on moving to the guidance of students. So uh, uh, any questions Yes, absolutely. Uh, generally, uh, students have one query regarding uh, that uh, means whenever they're starting their journey towards the English that they want to learn English, generally they have a misconception that what should be the more priority, what, sh what priority should we give to English or the vocabulary, English grammar or the vocabulary. So generally, I, my question is, what do you think about uh, what should be the priority? Means, is that the English grammar? Because sometimes what happens that a good person who are very fluent in their English and was speaking very good, they also sometimes get uh, 
make some small mistakes in English, like uh, in specifically in uh, these uh, prepositions or uh, some like some terms like uh, you know verbs, phrases. So, what do you think that what should be the more prioritized thing? Uh, rather than while running, when going to the 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 journey of English, it should be uh, through English grammar or the vocabulary. So, what do you take in this? See, for uh, having a command over a language, have multiple perceptions and angles. Yes, absolutely. One thing that vocabularies. Many people think that language win. Effective language is not, it should not be used or spoken for winning a language or winning a conversation. It's like a war. We have to be effective by being simple. The simple communication is the most winning communication. And normally people think using difficult vocabularies or words or word power will lead to winning the conversation. But what is the use of using such difficult words which people don't understand? There it can be, be thousands of and lucid. It should be lucid and simple. Right. Yeah. Right. It should be clear and of course it should be simple. Simple in the sense that it should convey the message what exactly you perceive. Suppose if you are unable to convey the message to the people exactly you feel or you want to speak, then there is a lack of communication. Yes, the yes, report yes. establishment or the right communication happens when people are clear in their messages and being clear means simple vocabularies and of course you have uh, grammatical structures. And even grammar is not tough in English. It has a very simple rule. Normally, the 80% of the sentences are assertive and all assertive sentences normally follow one pattern, subject, verb, and optional word. Yes, that's so true. starting with the subject, you, if anybody starts tracking the subject, what we are talking about, then it becomes very easy. Check, add a verb, and add some optional words. You are asking about prepositions and additional nouns that we have to add. See, uh, different prepositions carry different noun after it, and yes, prepositions actually. are connectors. Yeah. Prepositions are connectors. Once uh, we use preposition, there is a definite noun coming after that preposition, and preposition is to enlarge, enlarge a sentence. Suppose you don't want to enlarge a sentence, you want to make small, small sentences, then you don't need preposition. Preposition is a requirement, is a connector to enlarge, make big sentences by adding more nouns or pronouns. Normally, after a preposition, there is an objective case. What is an objective case? Objective case means accusative, means the reverse of the action. After a preposition, always a noun or a pronoun is used, and that is in accusative case. Yes. Like, uh, I go, I go, do you want more information? Enlargement of sentence. Yes. Now, I go to market. Two is the Absolutely. preposition, and two always bring, two brings a, a word that is a destination. Go to market in evening so aim tells the circumstance and time so i go to market market to market in evening evening is now there and connected to it so every preposition that we add in our clause brings a new noun or pronoun and that makes our clause long longer and sentence becomes lengthier in comparison if you want to use prepositions, it is just used for enlarging a sentence, making long sentences. And if you want to enlarge it more, then you can add conjunctions and related pronouns. See, don't bother a lot about grammar. Absolutely. If you bother a lot about grammar, that whether I have used a preposition, 
consumption, relative pronouns, or are we going heading in the right direction? Of, we, we will definitely uh, not be comfortable with the language. Absolutely. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Yeah. Actually, there was a connection gap, maybe. Uh, it, your video is getting stuck a little. Uh, OK. Is it OK now? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we are continuing something. Right. We were saying that if you bother too much about grammar, then you won't be able to do justice to the language. Absolutely. First, uh, speaking can be improved by speaking a lot. Listening. See, there are two sections, reading and listening. If you yeah. read a lot, you can write better. And if you listen a lot, you can speak better. Speak better. Absolutely. It comes from, it comes, it comes from environment. If we don't have environment to listen and read, we cannot speak and write better. So if you effective speaker or a writer, we need to listen. See, children learn language by listening. Any child is born in our family, they listen the language and they start speaking. Our senses, our mind automatically adjusts ourselves that what to speak. Whatever a person listens, they copy, imitate, and speak. Absolutely. See, imitation in our imitation is in our nature. We listen to people, we imitate, and then we are comfortable with practice. Practice makes a man comfortable and perfect. So if anybody is practicing wrong, they'll be uh, making a lot of mistakes. And if somebody is practicing in the right way, they'll be perfect in the right way. So the role of an institution like us comes for correctness and environments. If we build environment and, and maintain the correct language, then definitely uh, a practice uh, will help us to become comfortable and students also comfortable in English. Well, uh, yeah. English is uh, the widely accepted language all over the globe. Yes, absolutely. And uh, uh, it is one of the most, the world. most speakable language as an international official language also it is English. So whenever we are going out or whenever, whenever in as an op uh, corporate world or any other segment, English is more important and it is very prioritized uh, sector. Actually, everyone should know English well, rather than uh, speaking in Hindi is also well. If you are good in Hindi, that's okay. But English something adds your more skills to it. So uh, next is uh, actually one uh, question has been come up from the uh, viewer sector. That is, uh, uh, what would be the tips uh, to learn a proper English from the as a beginner means being a beginner uh, what should be done to learn proper uh, english and how to develop that skill well into that uh, stage so your take in this right you are right that this is the amazing question that comes in the mind of uh, all the learners that where to start from and how to do that and yes, how absolutely. to speak wonderfully is that the first step is listening. Mm -hmm. Listen to good speakers, listen to English news channel, listen to the people, try to make an environment for yourself that you can learn a language. If you listen Hindi, you will speak Hindi. If you listen uh, Maghi, Bhojpuri, if you listen Tamil, Telugu, whatever you listen, you learn that. Initially, first 15 days, you won't understand while listening also. It will take a couple of weeks to listen. Keep listening, try to pick out the words that what kind of words is being spoken. Initially, when people start listening, they don't, they are unable to hear the sound or the words that what exactly is being said. Yes. But with time, people ears get adjusted. Ears takes time in adjustment. Then you get adjusted and start picking the words. 
so children also take couple of months to listen and then to start copying first you need to listen like keen observer that what is being spoken and with a picturic view that uh, this is the wall that is the door window this is you have to connect your eyes and the listening word what is the word for that what is the word for this what is the word for that this is that what people need to connect so once people are good listeners they will be definitely good speakers listening is the first step of learning a language so become a listener but many people don't have patience what happens at a, a matured stage people are unable to listen when they are child when they are born neonatals they keep listening to their parents relatives all around the whatever is in the environment Absolutely. yeah a keen observer who watches who listens carefully can learn better so learning is inbuilt in our human system we learn when we observe when we have patience when we keep listening even after we don't understand if we keep listening suppose somebody is not understanding this conversation between us they should keep listen they should maintain that listening and definitely understand after five times they listen six times they listen seven times so do listen time again and again the same speeches of someone and there will be a time that you will start understanding the words being spoken or sentences being spoken so i i always suggest my students to learn from the speakers who have been speaking just keep listening so active listening imitating copying and then trying speaking now when Thing starts after 15 days or a 30 days of listening. Then it will start with mistakes, full of mistakes, wrong English. Tolerate. Okay. Yeah. There should be tolerance. There should be patience. I tolerate wrong English of my students. I tolerate. I have patience that I I tell my students to speak wrong. I listen to them and I enjoy their mistakes. because a person who hasn't committed mistakes won't learn Absolutely. you cannot learn riding a bicycle without falling down True. you have to fall down multiple times before you walk you have to make mistakes before you walk you have to make mistakes before you swimming you have to make mistakes you have to suffer losses before you start a venture so similar is english language so i would like to convey this message to students that dear students if you are making mistakes congratulations you are on the right path because making mistakes is the pillar of correcting your language in later stage but if you that evaluation on keep the evaluation on consistency on persistence on and if you are that analytical mind and assessment and guidance and environment is there nobody can stop you from learning a good language true absolutely true. any more questions so um students aap log sun rahe hain ki sabse pehle listening zaruri hai theek hai uske baad us listening ko aap apply kijiye mistake ho dobara mistake hoga teesri baar mistake hoga isko continue rakhna hai agar aap isko continue rakhenge तो आपको बहुत सारी मिस्टेक्स में एरर जो है वो भी पता चलेगा उसके साथ साथ आप उसके साथ ग्रो करोगे तो वही इम्पोर्टेंट है सबसे ज्यादा और सर के सर ने ये जो कहा है इसको प्लीज अपने जो भी आप इंग्लिश अगर सीखना चाहते हैं कोई भी लैंग्वेज सीखना चाहते हैं नॉट ओनली इंग्लिश कोई भी लैंग्वेज सीखना चाहते हैं इसमें ये चीज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है तो प्लीज आप इस पर ज्यादा कॉन्सेंट्रेट कीजिए एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली जनरली वॉट है the bihar sector if you can see uh, generally uh, people are more interested with uh, being an ias officer or government examination so um, I, my take is this uh, that people is not that much focusing on the english communication they generally what they do actually 
if uh, they know hindi then i am in india so the hindi is uh, i know hindi then that is okay um why should i learn another languages why should i give preference to english english to um angrezo ke time ka tha hum kyun abhi implement kare this type of thoughts are going on still in uh, uh, our uh, country so what you take in this that why it is important to learn english this is not because of angrezo ka tha isliye hum seekh rahe we are not following angrez here we are following our own development here so what is your take in this that uh, how are you going to pers uh, means persuade this to those type of people who have made this type of thought in their uh, mind so how are you going to go, uh, go through with it knowledge helps to conquer all the evils so knowledge never goes in vain if we are garnering if we are gaining we are winning means we indians can win over english and england by gaining knowledge if we know 100 languages that would be hats off to us if we know english we are conquering them knowing hindi will they will conquer us and knowing english we will conquer them if we want to conquer uk if we want to conquer them we will have to learn good english we will have to show that your language is being conquered by indians so if we were slaves once upon a time it doesn't mean we don't we hate english we don't learn good things of them bad thing is slavery it Absolutely. like ignorance is slavery यदि कोई नहीं पढ़ता है और वो अज्ञानी है तो वो गुलाम है और वो गुलामी के जंजीरों में आज भी बंधा हुआ है इफ द पर्सन इज नॉलेजेबल एंड हैज कॉन्कर्ड लैंग्वेजेस देन ही हैज द कमांड ही कैन रूल द वर्ल्ड सो बी अ रूलर बी इंडिपेंडेंट बी कैपेबल बी पोर्टेंट एंड पोटेंशियल लर्निंग so don't think like this that we will never learn english don't hate english hate people who commit crimes hate people who ruled us and exploited us we should not hate dresses we do we should not hate uh, mankind we should not hate government we should not hate uh you are stuck again sir you are stuck again uh, can you please repeat the last one what you said we should hate the culprits we should hate the people who exploited us but we shouldn't hate any language or development science or any kind of dresses because they give us civilization they gave gave us modernization there should be no war with modernization civilization technology science and language Absolutely. the war is with the people who exploit us true and uh, that is the main thing actually um uh, jo jo language sikhta hai that they are they should be treated as a gyani because they know so many languages and they can rule anywhere they want Uh, especially if you can see that some of the communicator generally mean uh, the, as a, if you can uh, have read some books that also in that also some communicator used to this jaisa desh waisa bhesh is this type of rule is going on and if you are communicating with them if you are communicating in their language then they can learn more from you they will treat you as their own member and they, it is like conquering them not us so guys ye jo thought hai aapka ki um, hum english nahi padhenge kyunki english angrezo ke time ka tha hum abhi india mein bharat hindutva ka raj hai i know that this is this is the part obviously but isko agar hum side mein rakhe thoda sa dekhe to conquering the agar hame dusro ke dil dusre ke country ko jeetna hai to dusro ke mindset dusro ke pehnave dusro ki cheezon ko samajhna hoga दूसरों के कल्चर को समझना होगा दूसरों की इंग्लिश कम्युनिकेशन को समझना होगा उसमें अगर हम रूल कर पाए तो ऑब्वियसली हम कोई भी स्टेट में कोई भी जगह जाके हम उनको अपने हिसाब से अपने हिसाब का अपना जो ज्ञान है वो हम दे सकते हैं सो दिस इज द वॉट इज 
the last uh, our topic this last of our question is about so uh, sir thank you so very much that you have uh, made us learn so many things uh, and so many and uh, points that uh, people will always follow and this is very wonderful session with you and uh, thank you so very much or means main sach mein bahut sara mujhe motivation mila aapki baaton ko sunke generally mujhe mila so i think that this the viewers also will get the same uh, spirit and motivation uh, in them and uh, thank you so very much and uh, so this was the our lecture with uh, our uh, institute uh, founder uh, mr manish pratap and sorry pratap manish and uh, thank you so much and thank you viewers for listening to us thank you so much thank you bye 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 bye